salaries of Ravi and Sumit are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. If the salary of each is increased by rupees 4000, the new ratio becomes 40 is to 57. What is Sumit's present salary? Now the salary of Ravi and Sumit are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So I can say that Ravi's salary is 2x and Sumit's salary is 3x, right? Now the salary of each of these is increased by 4000 and the ratio becomes 40 is to 57. So if I increase the salary of each of these, so 2x plus by 4000 rupees, so plus 4000 divided by 3x plus 4000 is equals to 40 by 57. Now we can solve this equation and get the value of x which is a common factor between Ravi's and Sumit's salary. So we have 57 times 2x is 114x plus 57 times 4 is 228 and we have 4000 so 228,000 is equals to 40 times 3x so I have 120x plus 40 times 4000 is 4 4s are 16 and we have 1 2 3 4 4 zeros so 160,000 it is so we have 228,000 basically 2 lakh 28,000 minus 1 lakh 60,000 is equals to 120x minus 114x so we have 68,000 is equals to 6x. Let's leave it right there. Now what we want is Sumit's present salary. Now Sumit's present salary is 3x and we have the value of 6x. Well we can get the value of 3x by dividing both the left hand side and the right hand side by 2. So this becomes 3x. So we have 3x which is equals to 68,000 divided by 2 and that you get as 34,000. So Sumit's present salary is 34,000 rupees. So it's not in the options so our correct answer is none of these. If 510 rupees be divided among A, B and C in such a way that A gets two-thirds of what B gets and B gets one-fourth of what C gets, what are A, B, C's shares? Okay, what's given is A gets two-thirds of what B gets. So I have A is equals to two-thirds of B. And it is also given that B gets one-fourth of what C gets. So B is equals to one-fourth of C. Now I can get the ratios from this. The ratio of A to B is 2 is to 3 and the ratio of B to C is 1 is to 4. Now I can rewrite B by C as if I multiply the numerator and denominator by 3 I get 3 by 12. So B's values are common here so I can say that A is to B is to C is equals to we have 2 we have is to 3 and we have the value or the proportion of C as 12. So A is to B is to C is 2 is to 3 is to 12. So the total number of parts that we have here is equal to 12 plus 3 plus 2. 12 plus 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So we have 17 parts here, right? Now A gets 2 parts out of those 17 parts. B gets 3 and C gets 12 parts out of 17. So we can calculate each of A, B and C's share. So A's share is equals to A gets 2 17th of this total amount. 2 by 17 times 510 and that is equal to when you solve it you'll get 60. Now it's turn of B. So B's share is equals to B gets 3 17th of 510. So 3 by 17 times 510 and that is equal to 90 and now C share which is equals to he gets 
12 seventeenth of 510 so 12 by 17th of 510 and that is equal to 360 so we have our answer option B the sum of three numbers is 98 if the ratio of the first to the second is 2 is to 3 and that of the second to the third is 5 is to 8 then the second number is now let these numbers be A, B and C okay now the ratio of first to the second is 2 is to 3 so A by B is equals to 2 by 3 and the ratio of the second to the third is 5 is to 8 so B by C is equals to 5 by 8 now these corresponding value here is 3 now let us make this corresponding value as 3 so what I can do is I can multiply the numerator and denominator by 3 by 5 so as to cancel out this 5 here and put 3 in place of that so 3 by 5 divided by 3 by 5 this 5 gets cancelled out so this is equals to 3 by 3 is at 24 by 5 so we have A's value as 2 B's value as 3 and C's value as 24 by 5 so A is to B is to C is equals to 2 is to 3 is to 24 by 5 now I can multiply all of the terms by 5 so 5 times 2 is 10 is to 15 is to 24 is the ratio of A is to B is to C now I can say that A is 10x B is 15x and C is 24x and the sum of all these numbers is equal to we have been given 98 so it is equals to 98 so 10x plus 15x plus 24x is 49x and that is equals to 98 therefore x is equals to 98 by 49 is 2 so we have the common factor of all of these numbers which is 2 now what is asked we have been asked the second number so the second number is actually 15x so this is equals to 15 times 2 and that is 30 so 30 is the second number and our answer is option B a fraction which bears the same ratio to 1 by 27 that 3 by 11 does to 5 by 9 is equal to well let this fraction be x now x bears the same ratio to 1 by 27 that 3 by 11 does to 5 by 9 so the ratio of x and 127 is proportionate to the ratio of 3 by 11 to 5 by 9 so x is to 1 by 27 is proportionate to 3 by 11 is to 5 by 9 so I can write this as x by 1 by 27 is equal to 3 by 11 divided by 5 by 9 right so 27 goes up so 27 x is equal to 9 goes up again so we have 3 times 9 divided by 11 times 5 so 3 times 9 is 27 and this 27 go cancels out so x is equals to 1 by 11 5 is 55 so that's our answer option A a sum of 1300 rupees is divided amongst P, Q, R and S such that P's share by Q's share is equal to Q's share by R's share which is again equals to R share by S share which is 2 by 3 then what is P's share well we have been given P by Q which is equals to 2 by 3 and we have been given Q by R is equals to again 2 by 3 so let's make this 2 as 3 so I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 so this 2 cancels out what we have is 3 by 3 times 3 is 9 by 2 so we can now fix the value of Q we already fixed the value of P Q is now 3 right because in front of Q in both the equations we have 3 
Now, in order to fix r as 9 by 2, let's see the next equation. We have r by s is equals to, again it is 2 by 3. But there should not be a 2 here. It should be 9 by 2. To remove this 2 and put 9 by 2 in place of that, what we can do is multiply the numerator and denominator by 9 by 2 times 2. right? So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled out. In the denominator we again have 9 by 2 times 2. So this is basically 9 by 2 which is r's value divided by 3 times 9 is 27 by 4. So now we can again fix the value of r. We have 9 by 2 here and the value of s is 27 by 4. So now the ratio of all of the shares is p is to q is to r is to s is equals to we have 2 is to 3 is to 9 by 2 is to 27 by 4. Now this is again equivalent to we can multiply all the terms by 4. So 4 to the 8 is to 3 for the 12 is to 9 times 4 by 2 so it will be 9 times 2 so it is 18 is 2 we have 27. So this is the complete ratio. Now the total shares is equal to addition of all the shares so 8 plus 12 plus 18 plus 27 which is 65 right. Now we want to calculate the share of P right. So P share is 8 shares out of 65 shares. So the total sum is 1300. So P share, let us write it here, P's share is equals to 8 out of 65 shares times the total amount which is 1300. And that is equals to 160 if you solve it. So our answer is option B.